Apparently, every new SUV should have a rugged trim that would make it suitable for overlanding. Is it reasonable? Maybe not. But today we will not judge the efforts of car makers to catch the hype train and instead shall praise them for paying attention to the growing community of adventures. If you want to explore the outdoors with your loved ones behind the wheel of your daily driver, check out this lineup of the freshest factory-modified family SUVs that are perfect for overlanding missions in 2022. Subscribe to Musty Tech and let's roll! Subaru Forester Wilderness Subaru's best-selling model of 2020 becomes more attractive for the adventurous folk with the introduction of the new Wilderness trim. It offers unique Gazer Blue exterior with extra wheel arch cladding, new skid plates, and 17-inch matte black alloys with the Yokohama Geolander tires. On the crossover's roof reside new rails that can support 800 pounds of static weight, enabling the use of a rooftop tent. More importantly, the Wilderness is 1.4 inches taller and has extra half an inch ground clearance that now totals to 9.2 inches. The suspension features specially tuned dampers and offers longer travel, while the usual 2.5 liter flat 4 with 182 horses comes paired to a modified CVT that now mimics 8 instead of 7 gears. Since the wilderness is positioned in the middle of the Forester range, it comes generously equipped with the eyesight driver assists, Starlink infotainment, front view monitor, and StarTax water repellent upholstery. Ford Expedition Timberline In addition to acquiring a fresher face and new tech, Ford's full size SUV is ready to carry your family into the wilderness in its new Timberline Edition guys. Powered by the usual 3.5 liter V6 with 440 horses, it offers an increased ground clearance of 10.6 inches and borrows a massive skid plate from the F-150 Raptor. The SUV also gets a two-speed transfer case, wider track, and new 18-inch wheels wrapped into 33-inch Wrangler all-terrain tires from Goodyear. The Timberline exclusive exterior updates include a black grille and active orange accents. These are echoed inside the cabin that offers an available 15.5-inch SYNC 4A infotainment. To demonstrate the full overlanding potential of the Expedition Timberline, Ford uses it for a concept of the same name. It gets a 2-inch lift, even larger tires, and rigid light bars. Camping equipment includes Thule Tepui Explorer RTT, 180-degree awning, outdoor shower, custom mattress, and a Turtleback Expedition Series trailer. Honda Passport Trail Sport The honor of debuting the Honda's Trail Sport off-road lineup falls onto the Passport crossover. The introduction of the trim coincides with the model's facelift, so it brings a fresher exterior design and plenty of standard all-terrain equipment. The model gets chunkier bumpers front and rear, new orange badges, and unique grille. Its front and rear tracks are widened by 0.4 inches. There are new 18-inch wheels, and the ground clearance reaches 8.1 inches. The drivetrain is the same as in the rest of the range. It's a 3.5 liter V6 that nets 280 horses and comes paired to a 9-speed automatic. However, in this modification, you also get intelligent variable torque management all-wheel drive with true torque factoring. The interior is equipped with an 8-inch infotainment and is set apart by the Trail Sport badges and orange stitching. Jeep Grand Cherokee Trailhawk 4XE On sale for the past 10 years, the Trailhawk trim is a well-known version of the Grand Cherokee. This year, however, it transitions to the next generation and adds a new plug-in hybrid version. It joins efforts of a 2-liter turbo engine, two electric motors and a 17-kWh battery. The new Trailhawk gets more robust off-road equipment and comes featuring class-exclusive sway bar disconnect, a Quadra Track 2 4x4 with select train traction management, and a rear electronic limited slip differential. As standard, the Trailhawk also adds a Quadra lift suspension with electronic semi active damping that raises the ground clearance of 11.3 inches. Just as the rest of the plug in hybrid 4XE models, this one can tow 6,000 pounds. Like this video to support our efforts of delivering informative overlanding content directly to your inbox. Thanks for the feedback and let's proceed! 
Kia Sorento X-Line The fourth generation Sorento becomes a more rugged version of itself with the extended wheelbase and a more off-road focused X-Line modification. The Storm absorbs the premium features of the SX Prestige Crate, but also gets a more sophisticated all-wheel drive system, improved approach and departure angles, and a 1-inch lift kit. Furthermore, any buyer of this SUV who wants to expand its overlanding potential can draw inspiration from the Yosemite and Zion concepts. The first is equipped with an LED light bar and is painted in pine green with a matte finish. The Zion is recognized through the desert sand exterior and a large expandable cargo box on top. Both boast protective skid plates, brush guards, and 20-inch wheels with 32-inch all-terrain tires. Ford Explorer Timberline Combining the best features from the previous Explorer models, the Timberline is a more off-road ready take on the family midsize. The SUV gets new front and rear fascias that allow both to increase its ground clearance and improve approach and departure angles. As a result, the Explorer sits 0.8 inches higher above the ground at 8.7 inches. The standard equipment list includes a new steel skid plate, 18-inch high-gloss painted wheels, and Bridgestone to Aller all-terrain tires. The adventurous nature of this SUV is further highlighted with its forged green metallic exterior with black trim, red accents, and grille-mounted LED fog lights. The only engine option is a 2.3-liter EcoBoost that makes 300 horses, comes paired to a 10-speed automatic, Torsen Limited Slip Differential, and standard 4x4. Finally, the Timberline offers terrain management with 7 modes, hill descent control, and 5,300 pounds of towing capacity. Subaru Outback Wilderness The regular Outback is stuck in limbo between a ruggedized wagon and a compact crossover, but the new Wilderness trim finally establishes its identity as an off-road ready SUV. It offers 9.5 inches of ground clearance, which is 0.8 inches higher than the regular model. This is made possible by a couple of suspension tweaks and raised front and rear bumpers. The latter also improved the Outback's lacking approach, breakover and departure angles that are now set at 20, 21.2 and 23.6 degrees respectively. The exterior revisions were finished by the downsized 17-inch wheels in gloss black, Yokohama all-terrain tires, copper accents, new LED fog lights and a strength and roof rack with 700 pounds capacity. As standard, the Wilderness is propelled by the more powerful of the Outback's two engines, the 2.4-liter turbo with 260 horses and 277 pound-feet. Jeep Compass Trailhawk The most capable Compass of 2022 arrives with a more advanced all-wheel drive system, fortifying its reputation of a compact SUV with real off-road ability. Contributing to the latter is the factory-installed 1-inch lift kit that increases the ground clearance to 8.6 inches. There are steel skid plates, low crawler gear ratio, and a new rock train mode. Aesthetically, the Trailhawk is distinguished by a revised 7-slide grill up front and slimmer LED headlights. As all the US-bound compasses, it is powered by 2.5-liter inline-4 with 177 horses. The interior is revised for the entire range, but as an upper-scale trim, the Trailhawk gets tastier goodies. For example, there is a standard 10.4-inch digital gauge cluster and a heated second row of seats. Ford Bronco Reptite Though not available for purchase, the Reptite showcases how customers can use factory and dealer-exclusive details to customize their own Bronco. Designed for beachgoers, the concept features tubular doors, a mash b stop bimini top, custom surfboard rack, rigid LED light bar, and a Yakima bike rack. Inside the cabin, the Reptite gets vinyl trimmed seats and rubberized flooring to ease the cleaning of sand. According to Ford, this Bronco gets a standard Sasquatch package, which significantly boosts its off-road potency. This one-off project rides on 17-inch wheels wrapped into 35-inch mud terrain tires and benefits from a raised suspension with Bilstein shocks 
and electronic locking front and rear axles. Finally, the Reptite relies on the SUV's optional 330-horsepower 2.7-liter twin-turbo V6. GMC Terrain 84 For obvious reasons, GMC postpones the terrain facelift by a year. Same is true for its off-roading 84 version that completes the brand's 84 family. Easily recognizable from the outside, this terrain features a new front end with standard LED headlights, wider grill, and a revised front bumper. It also adds a front steel skid plate, special 19-inch gloss black wheels wrapped into all-terrain tires, and a lot of plastic cladding. By the way, from 2022 standard across the entire terrain range are wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and GMC Pro Safety Package. But unfortunately, the previously available 2-liter turbo engine is now gone, leaving the turbo 1.5-liter the only option. What do you think about this overlanding SUV's trend? Are any of these models viable for highly demanding outdoor missions with your family? Let's talk this over in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe to Must See Tech and come back for more shortly. More informative content is on the screen. We'll see you soon.